Well, good morning. It's Monday the 10th of August 2020. And although we're still in lockdown, we're allowed to travel as far as we like for some exercise. So today's exercise is to climb Ben Hope. It's the most northerly of the Munros, but at just over 3,000 feet, we're not much above sea level, so it's a good stomp, almost straight up. So let's see how the day goes. Well, we've only just started and straight away it's almost directly up. But we're following a very pretty stream, which is just to our left of the waterfall up at the top, well, higher up than I can see. Going well, not very far up, but my goodness, it's hard going. But here we are by yet another beautiful waterfall. Although it's pretty much straight up, there are some good crags, the route goes past them quite well, so you can probably see them behind me. You meet the nicest people when you're out walking in the mountains, particularly in Scotland. And here's this nice couple that we've met, and they're really doing it the family way. Look at this. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi how are you doing? <laughs> You've been doing this for a long time with the youngster? Pretty much since he was about four weeks old. Oh, good. And do you tend to carry him most of the time, or do you take it in turns? We take it in turns. Graham will get the going down. Hill. Yeah, when the bag's empty and it's, it's harder on the leg, on the on the thighs, that's when I'll get him <laughs> going down. Fantastic! Right, well, you're overtaking us, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Off too. You go. Oh. Yes, you Cheers. too. Enjoy your day. Thank Have you. You too. Day. Bye. Yeah. Although it's steep, it's not a really hard technical walk and, you know, I've got a map with me but haven't really needed it because the path is really well defined all the way so far anyway. I've read that there's, this is a false summit we're coming to. I think it's the only one. Quite a lot of erosion here and I think if it wasn't for the regular cairns it would be quite difficult to see which way to go up and maybe it's because it's a bit indistinct that people have just taken various routes 
and uh, warm the grass away. Some walks it just seems like it's a slog and you just put one foot in front of the other and swallow up the miles and the height but it still seems to go on forever. We're near the top of the false summit and look what I've just seen. <laughs> still some way to go. Do you know, I consider myself a pretty strong walker and a good runner, but some people, some people just have something really special about them. Hi. Fantastic, doing really well. We're nearly at the top of Ben Hope. I nearly forgot the name of it then. But sometimes you just cannot wish for better weather. It must be about, what, 15, 16 degrees? There is absolutely no wind at all. Uh, we're, we're nearly at the top, but it's absolutely fantastic. It is so nice. <clears throat> There's the trig point, we're nearly there. Yes! We're at the top! Yay! That was fab! And it wasn't too difficult! Yes! Now about £30 worth of fuel to get here. £20 for the campsite. £20 for a meal last night in the pub. And another maybe tenner for a couple of drinks. Fiver for lunch. 1500 calories burnt to get up to the top, but the view from the summit, absolutely priceless. Turn down in the distance, you can see the, where the road cross, crosses over the sea lock. Lock Erebol in the distance, the north coast. And having got to the summit and then just walked a little bit further, it's an absolutely lovely view. Down the valley you can see Loch Hope down below us, Loch Erebol bit further over, a great place to stop for a snack. Well that's been a fantastic walk, really wonderful views at the top, probably one of the best I've ever been on, really marvellous. However, it's only halfway, got to get down to the bottom, so see you there. Well, we've just come down the mountain and it's a, not quite, we're about half past 12, quarter to one, something like that. And the car park had, well, we were the fourth vehicle to arrive and now it's a little different. So my suggestion is if you're going to come here, we arrived at eight o'clock in the morning. It was fairly quiet then. Seems like a good time to get started. Yeah, we've just come down off Ben Hope. What an absolutely glorious walk. The weather, we couldn't have asked for better. Hardly any wind, but I mean, we went up when it was a bit cooler, so it's now getting to its hottest time of the day. And uh, this is why I always like starting walks early, because it means I'm coming down from the summit, um, you know, and I've got one the rest of the day and two, it's not too hot. So uh, I was glad to get my walking boots off because that was my first thing I do ever and my feet feel lovely now. Uh, there's some lovely waterfalls and some little pools up on the way so you could on the way back down soak your feet if you wanted but we've had a, a fab day it's been it's been awesome yeah really good brilliant 
can thoroughly recommend it. Three things I would suggest that you bring if you're walking at this time of year. First of all, some decent walking boots. As you're coming down, it's pretty rough. You need the ankle support. The second thing is obviously some sunblock. It's pretty fierce yeah, it's, now. I don't know what the temperature is now, but it's pretty warm now. Yeah, and it's, it's exposed up there. Obviously in the winter, it's going to be cold. You'd be exposed, so you'd need decent, decent warm and waterproof clothing. And the third thing, which is really important in this, at this time of year in Scotland, is some insect repellent, because there are times when it's just awful. Just can, to... I, can I add another fourth thing? Yeah, go on. Don't forget to take plenty of water. One, one small bottle that you buy from the supermarket is not enough. You need a couple of litres um, and a reserve, some more in the car when you get back. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think that running out of water is one of the worst things you can do. So I always take too much and then I know that I've got some if I need to give it to anybody else and that we stay hydrated. So plenty of water. Yep. Yeah. So that's it from mm. us. Yep. Bye. All right. See you next time. Bye.